So I'm installing Mojave 14.6 on this beautiful Dale 13.3 inch i7 5500U. Download boot this utility to create a Clover bootloader with the Mojave installation. So use 16 gig for Mojave. Just follow the instruction. They will partition into two. It will set the 300 meg for EFI and the rest will be Mojave installation which only needs about 7 or 8 gig. Inside Clover you will see the EFI folder. So after created the boot disk utility we need to format the partition. This one will be blank. We're going to erase it using Mac OS Extended Journal. Let me start this. And we're going to select. And this one has to be outside of the application. And now we can see. So we'll start. Okay, so now we're going to patch MBR on this one. So we need these files. So let's open the system. System. And open installation. Installation. CDIS. So inside here, they're going install it. So we're going to replace with this. So open this one. This one. So now, we we'll go to the library. So, library, so we'll go to frameworks, these two. So, we'll go to frameworks. So, please. So, now we're going to private. Okay. Copy. So, now we're going to do private framework. So, I'll do it. Okay, so I'm ready. This is the EFI folder. We have an ACPI folder. Inside the ACPI, you have to patch for the sound, and we use the Apple ALC to patch. And what is the sound on this one? ACPI manager. So the sound on this one is ALC 255. This is real tech. So on this one, you put the original DSDT, SSDT, and then you use the SSDT UIAC that patch particularly for this one. So you need to find out USB by using the original DSDT. You run out of a registry also, you check for USB, and XSC right here. The name is 9CB1 inside the UIAC I call it the Botwell so 9CB1 so you patch exactly the same IO registry 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 4 of the ASP you're going to open the config. So in the ACPI, after you patch the DSDT to have all the layout ID and stuff, you go to sorted order, you put all of the SSDT original, which is compiled, and then you put the UIAC, this one is for, for the USB, will work with Kex called USB inject all from rehab. So after wake, all the discs were disconnected before, now they reconnect it automatically. So the USB is working well. We also need to generate the SSDT speed step. We're going to go up and down. So this one right here is from PRGen. Max maximum turbo frequency is 3000. And you put this one, you name it to whatever you want. And then you put into the config dot. So you have to put in the ACPI folder first, right? So you put in the sort order. You see right here? Actually, I'm going to move this one down to here. 
all the original one go first and this one go to the last one and test you see it went up to like 2.5 because we didn't really use a lot of power so for instance if you use uh, YouTube see that it hit 3000 already only when you play it will come up make sure this one is working so you get all your USBs working so I don't patch a lot argument all I put is NV disable equal one and dart or zero, nothing else. I don't put a whole string of stuff. It's working perfect. The audio, this one I inject 13 layout ID that I patch in the DSDT. Layout ID is 13 also for the uh, HDMI. Disable driver, GUI. Well, GUI is not that important. Look at the graphics. U1626. 006 all I do is use it's the platform ID I don't even use fake ID okay so people who have no idea what they do and they put fake ID and still break kernel and patches text to patch now that this is important I do this one 1626 I do this one USB this one's been there forever I never changed the Broadcom because I use it enable Wi-Fi I didn't I turn this off off I don't even turn any of these on okay. icon I turn it off also now change 15 port limit to 1626 I did that I turn this one off also I don't use that I don't use that I don't use that I don't use that I don't use that, I don't use that. now this is for HDMI I use so this is from uh, rehab man so you gotta try to turn them on and then see if the HDMI works so I only turn on two when you hook up the uh, HDMI the TV will show up instead of the internal speakers now when you're done with it when you unplug internal speakers yeah that's what you're supposed to do so we have man has this working really good so just follow that okay kernel to patch this one i don't patch anything rt variable 67 make sure it's there the important thing is the sm bios right you mark book air 72 the cpu the last letter is u it's not m if m you use macbook pro so the config is very simple you don't have to put a lot now the UEFI, I put a whole bunch of them in here, which I shouldn't. Normally, if you have the memory fixed, then you don't need the iOS after fixed drive, okay? But this is what you need. And KEX, this is also important. In the other, in the other, to make sure that you can always boot, these KEX must be in there, okay? Lilo is a must. Whatever grades of us, those two. Fake SMC you have to have, and USB inject all you have to have if you have a laptop. Or if you're gonna run an external hard drive as a test, you should have this one too. All these are optional. But these one, two, three, four, five. Five of these guys for the laptop is a mandatory. When you're done installing, look at the extension. I use Kex Utility because Kex Utility has a really good um, Kex Cache system. But anyhow, you can use whatever you want. So in here, I install a Apple ARC 1.3.4. Apple ARC is for this audio. ACPI is for this battery. Then we install so many Kex. Broadcom firmware repo. Broadcom patch RAM 2 is for the Bluetooth. Codec Commander is for the audio. When you wake up, you have the sound. Some of them lose the sound. Now, to get your graphic card to work perfectly, you need fake PCIe-ID Intel HD graphic and fake PCIe-ID. These two are from Rehab Man. For the Broadcom, uh, Wi-Fi use fake PCI ID 
and fake SMC also. So my fake SMC I use, I like the 1758. USB host if before I patch a USB host family dot cags, but now I use the uh, SSDT. Sometimes it doesn't work, then I patch the uh, USB host. I install Lilu in here. I install Voodoo in here. So a lot of people say they don't want to put it in there. It's fine. Do whatever you want. So I install USB and check all in there. Whatever green is in here too. So this is called the SLE for short. Some people, they want to put it in the library and extension, it's fine. I'm lazy, I just put everything in here, it works perfect. So this is my uh, test external USB hard drive. I made sure that it works in the 14.6 before I install it into my internal hard drive. Since this one already has the 14.5, uh, I'm just going to install it over. So I'm going to install the Dell Mojave, which is the internal hard drive. And before I install it in here, I remove all the kecks to make sure that it won't have the kernel panic after I reboot. And then after I reboot into the new 14.6, then I will reinstall all the kecks, the uh, third party kecks. Okay, yeah, so it's done. Let's see if it's gonna boot. Kernel panic. So 14.6 doesn't seem like the Intel injector. So we turn it off, let's see. Let's boot in X mode. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's working now. So after the um, updated the cache, everything works now. Okay, so this is Dell 7352 i7 5500U and it's SD 5500. And it's running Mojave 10.14.6. Talking about a perfect MacBook Air. This is MacBook Air 7 II. The audio works. Bluetooth was replaced with DW 1560. The camera works. Car reader also works. This one, I think they put the USB card reader in it, so that's why it's working. There's no Ethernet card inside this one. So we can have the native Ethernet. So while we have this, then the iMessage and FaceTime will work. So it have to be built in. Without this, it won't work. If you're going to use the external Bluetooth or external Wi-Fi, USB Wi-Fi, you will never get the iMessage to run. So don't hackintosh if you cannot replace the internal uh, DW1560. Memory, I got 8 gig. Graphic is full acceleration. HDMI is working. USB, they use all 3.0. They don't use the uh, 2.0 at all. So Wi-Fi, we're going to run on both 5 gigahertz and also 2.4 gigahertz. Bluetooth has hand off support, which means send picture to and from my iPhone. Okay, so that's AirDrop, but it's only work with uh, BT 4.0. I can import from my phone. So I'm going to take a photo of this one right now. Use the photo. There you go. I just took the picture. It's really nice. So Mojave is the best. Series. Stock market. Here's how the markets did. Sidebar. Everything worked. iMessage. I seldom use the uh, FaceTime. Battery is working. iMovie is working. Keynote is working. GarageBand is working. iTunes is working. This is called a perfect. MacBook Air, 
Normally, SD card doesn't work, but this one does. Oh, even the key for the backlight is working. Key for the sound is working. Yeah, the touch screen is working, but I don't use it.